Hello Booktube, my name is Kate and this is my channel Chapter Kate. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a discussion video. Today's discussion is about am I a cover buyer or am I not a cover buyer? I don't know. Let's find out together, shall we? But before that, I wanted to participate a little bit in the Booktubeathon video challenge. So the challenge was to recreate a book cover mimicking the style of Art Attack, which is a show in the 90s in Canada that I've never heard of, but it sounds really cool. I don't know. I didn't have cable. I watched Arthur growing up. Pretty much just Arthur and Mr. Rogers. So, Sesame Street also. Liberty's Kids, Cyber Chase. Barney, whatever. So, I've never heard of it, but I'm gonna do it. First, I decided maybe I should try something simple like Animal Farm by George Orwell. Maybe I'll do something really cute, like the Golden Compass. And here we go. <laughs> okay, this is, this is it. This is gonna be great. <laughs> but then I landed on the book that I really wanted to do. Well, it looks like Solvi is now a permanent part of this because she's not going. I tried. I really hope you enjoyed that attempt at recreating the book cover. I know I did. Thank you, Haley in Bookland. I will link you below. Now let's get into the discussion. So when it comes to books, I don't really think of myself as a cover buyer, but my husband does. And I don't know if that's because the types of book we buy are very different or not. Because, I mean, they're really not that different. I like science fiction, I like fantasy. He likes science fiction, he likes fantasy. He pretty much only sticks to high fantasy and adult science fiction and adult fantasy, whereas I dabble in adult or YA or um, middle grade or graphic novels or whatever. So I think, I don't know, I guess I see a lot of different types of covers. Um, but I do notice that the types of books he goes for don't have covers that really I am attracted to. I just don't like them like that. 
the types of books he buys have a lot of like um robust looking like viking sword viking helmet or like a painting of something like someone fighting or a painting of something like it's got that kind of art style well, whereas the books i like or that i'm attracted to have a more artistic element to them like it's either digitized or it's like something really interesting stylized or something so um i don't think i buy books because of the cover though i am attracted to books because of the cover so i see them and then i go and i look into them further whereas if there's a book that doesn't catch my eye i may never know about it unless someone tells me about it or buys it for me or something like that so this is one reason i really like booktube is because i can hear about these books that i may never look at otherwise now i'm going to talk a little bit about five books that i was attracted to because of the cover and bought the first is one i haven't actually read and this is an unkindness of magicians this book is about magicians that's all i know about it i'm gonna read it this week hopefully for the book two -thon. Um, however, I haven't even gotten into it yet, but I definitely bought it because of the cover. I saw the cover, I thought it was cool, and then I looked into it, though. I looked into it before I purchased it, so I don't know if I did buy it for the cover, or if I was just attracted to it, and then I researched it because of the cover. I don't know, but it seems cool. I read, like, the first couple of pages, and they seemed powerful. I don't know. I like magic books, but I don't like to know a lot of information going in. The next is a book I have read and I've loved and I read the entire trilogy and it is Sleeping Giants by Sylva Neuville and it is the Themis Files trilogy. And I was attracted to this because I like black, I like this tealish bluish color, and I like simplistic kind of covers. I loved the font. I, I'm, a, I'm a font person. I love cool fonts. And I just immediately was attracted to it. And plus it's got this starry background and I like stars so that's why I bought it and I loved it. And I've read all three of them, and I loved all three of them. But I think the vibe I got off of this is what really drew me in. It had sort of an otherworldly kind of vibe, and it reminded me of the Iron Giant, which is very close. And the next one's another one that I'm just so happy that I picked up, and it was um, A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Now I've read the first two books. I haven't read the third one because I'm scared. But... I definitely picked this up because they were all three together and I love the red, white, and black color scheme and I actually am attracted to a lot of books because of that. And I love the art style. It looked really cool. I was really curious. So I googled it. I looked at the reviews. Everybody seemed to love it. So I got it. I didn't know anything going in. I just knew that. The next is another book I have not read yet. I read the first chapter because I was trying to add a couple of different ones to see what I wanted to read. And it's The Hazelwood. I've seen it a million times. I loved the foiling. I loved the fantasy, dark fantasy vibe I had about it. But I didn't buy it until I heard several people review it and say that they loved it. So that's the whole reason that sort of shoved me into buying it. And then the last one is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Um, not gonna lie, I saw Red Queen and thought maybe it was an Alice retelling and it was not. Trade disappointed. And now I'm going to talk about five books that I never, ever would have looked at in a million years if someone hadn't A, recommended it to me, or B, given it to me. But these are all books that I love or I'm really excited to read. The first is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I never would have picked this up. It's got a big red heel on it. I've never worn heels in my life. I would have seen it and said, not relatable. I don't know. It just would have had like a girly vibe and I just don't feel like I would have... I ever picked this up but I did and I'm so happy I'm so freaking happy that I, that I picked this up this was given to me as a gift and I'm so so happy for it the next is the looking glass wars by Frank better and these are this is a trilogy and it's an Alice Wonderland retelling it's amazing never would have bought this brown I do I avoid brown books I just don't like the brown color scheme I would have just probably skimmed right over it if someone had not recommended this book to me in high school or middle school might have been middle school i don't remember i loved it the next is city of bones by cassandra clare man nipples must i say more never would have picked it up because of man nipples and also it's got a kind of a brown color scheme as well but honestly mainly the man nipples i would have seen it and thought uh, this is one of those ones gonna have unnecessary romance but I still enjoyed it. I still liked it. I haven't read any more of them, but I liked it. Next one is one I have not read, and it is The Merciless. Never would have bought this because of the symbol on it, 
any family members that came over would probably think that I had converted to Satanism because that's how that's who they are. Um, but also it's bright pink and I never ever would pick up a book that is bright pink unless someone was like, Hey, this is like pretty little liars meets AHS coven. And then I would have picked it up. So I did. I haven't read it yet though. So it could still disappoint me. We'll see. Stay tuned. And then we have Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Never would have ever picked this up, mainly because it's got a chick on the cover carrying weapons, and I would have associated that with a not like other girls trope. I didn't hate the book though. I enjoyed the book. I just don't like books with people on them because usually they annoy me. Usually I associate this with a writing style that annoys me. Parts of it did. But then again, parts of it didn't. I don't know. I haven't read any more of these. Maybe I will. Bonus book, I never, ever, ever would have in a million years if someone had not, you know, talked about it. I haven't seen it on TV, heard everyone and their mom rave about it or hate on it or, you know, watch the movies or whatever. Hey, puppy dog. But the last book that I never, ever would have picked up ever is Harry Potter. I just would never have seen this art style and thought, hey, that's a cool world. I'll read it. But I did. I don't regret it. Didn't read it till college, but I did. I did read it. So I know this talk was a little bit all over the place, but I hope that it gave you some insight into something. I'm not sure what point or moral of the story I was trying to communicate. But, yeah. Those are books that I bought or didn't buy until someone recommended because or not because of the covers. Yeah. If you would like more of this junk, subscribe below. Bye! Tripping over shadows and I'm drowning in the night I feel the soldiers coming under, pulling up a fight I feel my eyelids closing under the wind